Good evening, this is the Thoughtful Carpenter Reviews. So, I have tonight tool that you guys have probably been watching a lot of, either on my Instagram or here on YouTube via shorts. Uh, so, this is currently available at Ohio Power Tools right now. I think it's 350 bucks for the bear tool. It comes with a box, a uh, sustainer like metal box. Uh, it comes with a guide rail that slides into the side that you can either use as a rip guide. Um, and it's got millimeters as well as markouts. So you don't really have to guess what your size of rip is. Sadly, it's not in standard uh, here in America because this is sold everywhere else around the world. And so we just have to get used to that point. Um, so anyway, this saw bear tool 350. Uh, the guide rails, I think are an extra 150 ish dollars a piece, something like that, uh, whenever they start coming out. Uh, I'm not sure when Ohio Power Tools will have it, but I'm sure they will be getting these rails sometime soon. The current reason that I like this saw more than any of the other current crosscut saws of this capacity and size and style is that unlike the HKS from Festool, it's not anemic. It actually has a ton of power. I would say that this is comparably matched to the modern worm drive cordless saws that we currently have out right now, or at least very, very close. Uh, so tons of power, not lacking that at all. Great dust collection when hooked up to dust collection properly. Uh, also, it's really well, really, really well built. There are a couple of complaints that I have. One is that when it's on an FS guide rail, which is the standard track, uh, there is slop to it, which drives me kind of bananas. They didn't make a little dial to adjust that. Again, it's a 350 price point. To buy this saw from Mephel right now, the KSS 60 will run you like $1,400, uh, similarly equipped, $1,400 to $1,600, so three times or four times more expensive for the same capacity. This is a 66 depth of cut. The KSS 60 is a 60. That's also a seven and a quarter inch blade that is proprietary to their system, where this runs a blade that you can take off of a standard Makita track saw, uh, Festool track saw. You can also, it's got a 20 mil arbor on it on one side and three eighths on the other, so you can flip that around and you can run a six and a half inch circular saw blade that you can get from Home Depot or Lowe's, which is amazing. Um, so all those, check, 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 check. Uh, above it is a fantastic saw. So this is a crosscut saw. So if you've ever seen something like that, it's uh, it's attached to the rail. So you butt this this into the stock, and then you can go to town. So that's butt into it. That means that this is a perfect right angle and square. And then you can actually set this up in either direction. We'll go this way. This is at 60 degrees one way, and it'll go 60 degrees the opposite direction. So now we're setting at 60 degrees. So that means you can make your mark on here. You can view your mark and you can make your cut uh, accurate every single time. And the gauge here is pretty phenomenally well laid out. So you can really tell what 31, 32, 33, 34, all the way through, and then back to 60 the other direction. So now again, you just bring this over to your mark that you made one mark of. You don't have to draw the angle. And then obviously, if you didn't even want to use this backstop, you wouldn't have to. You could just hold it there. And it's got plenty of grip on the bottom of here. There's uh, three rubber strips on this side and one here for that cut edge. And if you notice, unlike the Fest tool, it's actually built in, so it's machined into it. So this has to slide in and out. You're not gonna lose this edge like you would on a traditional Fest tool rail or a Makita rail. Um, really, 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 really well designed. I love this saw. So without further ado, oh, also, this is the 30. America will get the 30, the 44. Not so sure about the 70, so this is a 28 inch work capacity. So imagine that the saw is on that. You would never have to go out and get a track saw to break down 24 inch wide sheet material, LP smart side. You could do board and batten those big gable cuts that are you know, 45, 50, 60, 70 degrees going up. Uh, when you're doing your window trim on the exterior of a building, you could easily just grab this, throw it at 45, 16 foot long material, you're not having to fight it onto a miter saw, get it set up, get it butt in and perfect. You could just walk over to the pile of material on the ground, boom, 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 45, all the ends on one side, put your tape onto it, pull it to the other side, make your mark and make your cut. It's that much faster. Running baseboard in a house. I primarily use this saw. This is the KSS. 40 from Muffel. It runs the exact same battery system, the cordless alliance system. Remember, this is the Metabo Germany, not the Metabo from Japan, not the Metabo HTP. Uh, owned by the same parent companies, totally different battery platforms, totally different ideals. 
this is German logic, German intelligence, and they're not really, uh, some of their stuff is definitely made in China. I think this saw is actually made in China, but for the most part, it's that German engineering that they really got down to the teeth. So again, I use this saw primarily for running baseboards in houses. You get into your uh, one by eight base with a base cap on top of it. I'll run one by eight all day long with this thing. I'll run multiple layer, doesn't matter at all. I'll set mine to a 45 degree, uh, front and back on this one. Set that to my 45 degree, and then I can bevel cut all my pieces while they're laying in my pile. I don't have to pick up a 16 foot long one by eight, fight it onto my miter saw stand, drag it all through the house. I can actually just go drop off base on every floor in a pile and cut it right there on site. So now that I have this saw, I don't necessarily think that this is gonna give you as clean of a cut as the KSS, but I can't promise you one way or the other yet because I haven't used this enough. The grip on this is the one grip that I have. If you notice, this is sitting directly on top of the saw. I think that's an okay grip. But then if you look at this, the, the grip is actually towards the rear of the saw. So the, the grip is much more controllable. The saw is protruded out in front of you and there's a lot more room. So if you notice where that grip is versus this being right over top of the saw blade, it's not as smooth and there's not as much room as this even smaller saw has for the hand grip. This is just a really ergonomical grip where this one's just a little bit crowded. Again, I've been using this for the last, I don't know, month uh, on the framing project. If you've been watching along on Instagram, you'll know that I've been framing gable, a gable wall yesterday, big cantilevered overhangs. I've been cutting through LVLs with this, doing structural beams on the interior. I've burned through probably 200, 252 by fours with this. It's been phenomenal. Same blade uh, right out of the package. So that's the uh, KS1866BL, LTX66BL. And now we're going to do a quick cut just to show you. If you haven't been following along, I've been trying to kind of keep content rolling there uh, for everybody on Instagram and on, uh, uh, what do you call it there, on Instagram and on YouTube. But they've all been short format videos, so this is my first kind of long format video that I've done in a pretty long time, actually. So let's grab a hose. This has got the Star Mix. Uh, auto start, auto stop uh, function on the hose. And I'm going to set this. Also, that's the cool part about this. This locks. So you can roll it in and pull it out, and it'll lock in whichever position that I want. That's a really nice feature for a desk port. Um, and then with this hose, it's set up for vibration. So it'll actually sense the vibration and turn on automatically. That's another super smart Notabo uh, group design. So that's with Starmix. Starmix is the one that designs that outlet. You've got to get it on uh, Amazon Germany if you want it. Same thing with that. Extra long track. And so just like that. That's for two by material, no problem. And we can actually, well, I'm going to 45 that as well. So this saw can go 45, and if you actually press that in, it'll go to 47. You have to adjust the detent stop on that. But let's go, let's do that. We'll do an over bevel, a square cut. So bring your saw over. You can look right down here. You don't need to look at the blade. It's not like a worm driver. You're like, I want to see the blade. And it wouldn't make sense anyway if they flipped the blade to the other side. They've all thought about that, so if you're wondering, why isn't there the blade left? Because it wouldn't make any sense. You can't cut off of the fall off. So anyway, here we are. We're set up again. You can just make your mark wherever you want to. Bring this over to it. Set it up. Lock it in. Make sure that you're set. And then I just keep my thumb right here on the track. Super simple. Uh, not a lot of guesswork out there. And my gosh, that is a absolute buttery clean cut. I mean, for a piece of rough frame material, I don't know many people with a surgeon saw other than maybe Roof Slayer that can cut that at a better cut, that smooth, that straight, and that quick. If you notice, I didn't even have to get a speed square out. 
And that is one thing you've got to pay attention to with a crossfit saw like this. You really have to be paying attention, otherwise you won't get a square cut. And I gotta say, for a piece of rough, wonky framing, that's that's out less than a 30 second probably. And maybe maybe a 30 second, something like that. You're not gonna get a square cut. I mean, not not on, I mean, like the, the edges of this are all torn up. You're not you're just not gonna get a straighter cut. So if you can get that within a 30 second of an inch on a two by eight, you're doing pretty good. So anyway, that's the KSF 30 guide rail. KSF 70 guide rail is the big one, 28 inch cut capacity. And then you've got this, which is the KS 18 LTX 66 BL, kind of a mouthful, but that's the saw. It's out now. You can get it on Ohio Power Tools right now. And I'm sure Beaver Power Tools and other people will have it sooner than later.